Hey there, savvy viewers. Welcome to Stoicism. Time-tested advice where we explore the fascinating world of psychology and self-improvement. Today, we're delving into the intriguing concept of reverse psychology and how you can leverage rejection to your advantage. So buckle up, because we've got three powerful lessons coming your way. The first lesson in our reverse psychology journey is all about embracing rejection as a catalyst for growth. Instead of fearing rejection, view it as a valuable tool for self-improvement. Remember, every rejection is an opportunity to learn and refine your approach. So go ahead, step out of your comfort zone, and use rejection as a stepping stone toward personal development. Lesson 1. Embrace rejection as a catalyst for growth. Imagine you've just pitched a groundbreaking idea to your boss, and despite your best efforts, they reject it. Instead of feeling defeated, view this rejection as a golden opportunity. Embrace the experience as a catalyst for your personal and professional growth. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this rejection? How can I refine my approach for future proposals? Example, I've been working on this innovative project proposal that could revolutionize our approach to client engagement. I'm really excited about it, and I believe it could bring significant benefits to the team and the company. Your boss. I appreciate your effort, but I don't think it aligns with our current priorities. We'll have to pass on this for now. In this scenario, instead of letting the rejection dampen your spirits, consider it an opportunity to gather valuable feedback. Reach out to your boss for constructive criticism, understand the reasons behind the rejection, and use that insight to refine your proposal. Maybe there are aspects you overlooked or different priorities at play. By embracing rejection as a catalyst for growth, you're not just bouncing back, you're bouncing forward with improved strategies and a more resilient mindset. Remember, rejection is not the end, but a stepping stone toward personal development. So don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone, take risks, and use rejection as a powerful tool for continuous improvement. Your ability to learn and adapt will set you on a path to long-term success. Lesson number two is about turning a no into a challenge. When faced with rejection, rather than accepting defeat, treat it as a challenge to prove yourself. Channel your inner resilience and determination. Use the rejection as fuel to push yourself harder, get creative, and find alternative routes to success. Remember, some of the most successful people in history faced rejection, but turned it into a driving force for their achievements. Certainly. Let's dive deeper into the second lesson and provide an example to illustrate how to turn a no into a challenge. Now, let's talk about the powerful mindset of turning a no into a challenge. Instead of accepting defeat when faced with rejection, treat it as an opportunity to prove your capabilities. Channel your inner resilience and determination. Use the rejection as fuel to push yourself harder get creative, and find alternative routes to success. Example, entrepreneur. I have this groundbreaking concept for a sustainable tech startup that could revolutionize the industry. It's eco-friendly, innovative, and has the potential for significant growth. Investor, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but we're not interested in investing at this time. In this scenario, instead of feeling defeated, our entrepreneur sees the rejection as a challenge. They decide to delve deeper into understanding why the investors passed on the opportunity. Perhaps it's the market conditions, financial projections, or other factors. Instead of giving up, the entrepreneur takes it as a challenge to address these concerns and present a more compelling case. Entrepreneur Thank you for your feedback. I understand your concerns about market conditions, I've revised my financial projections and conducted further market research to address those issues. I would appreciate another opportunity to present my refined proposal. By turning the initial no into a challenge, our entrepreneur has not only demonstrated resilience, but also showcased a commitment to improvement. Remember, some of the most successful people in history faced rejection, but they used it as a driving force for their achievements. It's about leveraging setbacks to propel yourself forward fostering a growth mindset, and proving that challenges are stepping stones to success. So, next time you encounter rejection, 
view it as a challenge to overcome. Push yourself, get creative, and find alternative routes to success. Your ability to turn setbacks into opportunities will set you apart on your journey to achieving your goals. Lesson 3. Now, for the grand finale, let's talk about harnessing the power of reverse psychology. Instead of always seeking approval, strategically use rejection to your advantage. People often want what they can't have, so by appearing indifferent or unaffected by rejection, you might just pique the interest of those who initially turned you down. It's like playing chess with the mind. The more you understand the psychology behind it, the better you can navigate social dynamics. Example, job candidate. I appreciate the opportunity to interview for this position. I believe my skills and experience make me a great fit for the team. Interviewer, thank you for your time, but we've decided to move forward with another candidate. In this scenario, our job candidate decides to strategically use reverse psychology. Instead of appearing disheartened or desperate, they respond with a confident and indifferent demeanor. Job candidate, thank you for the update. I understand that decisions like these can be tough. If anything changes or if there are future opportunities, I'd love to stay in touch. By responding in this way, the candidate has subtly flipped the script. Rather than chasing approval, they've left the door open for a potential change of mind. This approach may make the interviewer second-guess their decision and wonder about the candidate's true value. The candidate is playing the game strategically, understanding that appearing less eager can sometimes make them more appealing. It's important to note that this doesn't mean being insincere or manipulative. The key is to maintain genuine confidence and resilience in the face of rejection. By understanding the principles of reverse psychology, you can navigate social dynamics more effectively and potentially turn a no into a maybe or even a yes. So next time you find yourself facing rejection, consider the power of reverse psychology. Stay confident, maintain composure, and remember that sometimes, by not desperately seeking approval, you might just become even more appealing. It's all about playing the strategic game of social dynamics, Three powerful lessons on how to use rejection to your favor through the art of reverse psychology. Remember, it's not about avoiding rejection, but about transforming it into a valuable tool on your journey to success. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more mind-expanding content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. Until next time, keep embracing challenges and turning rejection into triumphs. Stay positive, stay motivated, and keep thriving.